The traditional ruler of Abagana community, His Royal Highness Chief Simon Ajo, has cried out to the government to rescue the community from armed bandits. Chief Ajo, whose son was killed alongside a family of six by the invaders, told our reporter that the attack was the fourth in recent times. Suspected Fulani herdsmen had attacked a Bagana community close to the IDP camp in Makurdi, the Benue state capital, leaving trails of destructions and sorrow. Security personnel have since been drafted to the area to come other villages and bushes for more victims. The incident of yesterday is one too many. This is not the first time. I've had a series of these incidents here. This is about the fourth one, uh, where so many people were killed by suspected uh, Fulani Esme. It occurred yesterday at when the people were preparing to go to bed, they struck and started shooting and killing and maiming people around here. By the count, by the time we, where the scrutiny men came in, already nine dead bodies were recovered, uh, eight have been injured and taken to the hospital. This one that happened yesterday, you look at it, that what they are after is not even grazing their cow, cows. There's no place they have not been grazing around here. They just came in yesterday to kill. Kill. We have no problem with them. No cow rustling. Nothing. Abagna, we have an RDP card here in Abagna here. So this is, I would say that this is the second time. The first time they come and enter them this side. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, the governor of Benue State, Samuel Otom, has described the renewed attacks on the state as a declaration of war on people and the state. The governor, who was on campaign tour in the southern part of the state, sympathized with families of victims and reassured the displaced persons in the camps of his administration's commitment to their security. Well... You come in in the ancestral home and do this kind of evil. Those people in Abagna, they are IDPs. They ran away from you. They came to find succor in an IDP camp. And you come and kill them. And you want me to keep quiet. That we don't talk too much. God will judge everybody who is complicit in this manner. Everyone that is involved and is turning a grand eye, including the president, God will judge him. You will see what will happen. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning. God will definitely arise at the appropriate time. Sometimes it as if God is sleeping, but God doesn't sleep. And we will visit this kind of evil against the leadership of this country that are complicit. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.